All right, so after screwing around for another 40 minutes or so, I got it all kind of mocked up here, kind of where I want it. Pay no attention to the directional switch, I just got it sitting there for right now. But that's pretty close to where I want it. it gives me enough room to get in and out. It's comfortable driving. It's still a little bit too far forward and too much pitch, but if I bring it down too much and it's into my legs, I really don't want to keep chopping into the firewall. And it should work here. My angles are all pretty good. I'll probably whack that shaft off a little bit shorter, but so I got the mount made up. Actually, this is like the third time I've tacked it on and didn't like it and took it off, so I'm hoping this is the last time. We'll find out. All right, so I got steering column in. Made my brackets. Turned out good. Sitting pretty much where I want it. Got a bracket down here that's bolted from the bottom that holds the bottom of the column. So that works. Like I said, it looks a little goofy. I'm sure more normally you'd put it in more, but where you have to sit so you have enough leg room and everything to make it work, it kind of has to come out to about there. Otherwise you're stretching your arms all the way out to reach the steering column. That ain't going to be fun. But it don't look bad. I knew it's going to be moved back a little bit because you're channeled the body. So you lose a little bit of height. And these seats are a little bit taller than I figured, but they're comfy. So I'm not too worried about that. So, that's just kind of mocked up. I still got to finish welding and make a little gusset here. But I can do that later. Still got to take the steering column apart, clean it, paint it. Long ways to go yet, but that's where we're at. And I'll bring you back when something else happens. All right, now to the shifter. I'm come up with something here. Now I know where the steering wheel is. I can kind of figure out where my shifter is going to be now. This is some kind of fugly uh, metric thread, fine thread. I don't really feel like buying a tap. So I made my own collar here real quick. This side here is bored out to 11 16 which just happens to slide, or 5 8 sorry. This is 5 8 Slides over that just right. And I'll make a set screw or two of them and I'll lock it to that stem. And then I bored the top out to 11 16 and I got this shifter of a 80 Chevy pickup. I just figured we'll put it in like yay. And I'll eventually I'll weld that. But the problem I'm finding now is that this shifter it's kind of heavy. It just kind of wants to fall in the gear. But I don't know. It's pretty, it's, it's a lot of weight. I guess you really don't realize it when it's in a pickup. But the detents in this transmission aren't that strong. And it just wants to fall. So if it's that heavy, you're putting a lot of weight on the, uh, or not so much weight, but wear on your uh, your uh, bah, bah, bah. synchro forks so I'm not going to be able to use that this is just I mean this is your typical shifter but it's just kind of heavy it's solid so I have to come up with some kind of tubing make my shifter out of that so it's a little bit lighter so I have to come up with something a little bit more creative that way but that's where that's at so next up I don't know it's lunch time I'm hungry we'll figure it out after lunch and then real quick here, I'm going to show you. I picked up this uh, Sun Pro Tack. I was actually going to put it in the 40 Chevy because it just looks cool. But I think it's going to look cooler in here. We'll get that mounted in there like yay. That'll look neat. So that's cool. And something I found out today. I'm sure everybody else knows it, but I'm pretty slow at this. Sun Pro is owned by Snap-on Tools. There's a little sticker in here that says, you know, owned by. It's like, huh, I didn't know that. So that's kind of neat. Alright, so after scrounging around, I found some tubing to make a shifter tube. Actually, I didn't have enough to make one, so I had to piece it together. I'll grind that down and make it look pretty. Uh, still use the adapter I made. This made it a little bit smaller. 
And I got my set screws in there. Drilled and tapped. I got two of them, one on this side and one on the other side, so that should keep her from spinning around. And uh, she clears pretty good. That would be first gear, second, third, fourth. I didn't set the set screws yet. And then fifth up here. Reverse is back here in the passenger seat, but that's okay. I'm never a passenger. So, that'll work. And it's at the right height, just cool enough. So, I'll put a bolt in there, weld that in, grain that all up. And uh, that project's done. And I'm in the car, as you can see. I can zoom back far enough. But, you know, for the most part, everything's pretty comfy in here. You got it kind of set up. Got so I can hang my arm, you know, to the to the left ear. That's always important. I can bring the seat up a little bit, I believe. Make it a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. So yeah. That'll work. So, shifter done for the most part. And to the next project.